This is Jack. Yeah. This is John. They are neighbors. Now they are good friends. <laughs> But in the past they were not so friendly. John always wanted to have everything more than Jack. Jack bought a dog. John thought, Jack has one dog. I will buy three dogs. But, John faced a lot of problem in taking care of the three dogs. Jack bought a nice watch. John thought, he bought one watch. I will buy three watches. But two watches stopped working. As he didn't use them. Jack bought a book. John bought three books. John thought, why did I buy three copies of the same book? It was foolish. Jack bought one big pumpkin. John bought two big pumpkins. One pumpkin got rotten before John could eat it. If Jack ate one cake, John would eat two cakes. Then John would get stomach pain. Oh no! Jack bought one shirt. John bought three shirts. Then John had no money left with him. John was sad. But Jack came to help him. John said, thanks for helping me. Now I know you are my friend. I shall buy only what I need. I don't need to compete with others, John added. Since then, the two neighbors are good friends, helping each other when needed. Yay! Who ate one cake? Yes, Jack ate one cake. Who had many dogs? Yes. John had three dogs. Who had one pumpkin? Yes, Jack had one pumpkin only. Hello dear students. Today we are going to watch a video and start with our lesson. Children, what did you learn from this video? What was the moral of the story? Yes, we should not compete and compare ourselves with others now let's make a list of what jo jack and john had bought so jack bought one dog john bought three dogs jack bought one book john bought three books jack bought one pumpkin john bought two pumpkins jack ate one cake john ate two cakes Jack bought one shirt. John bought three shirts. So John always wanted to buy more than Jack. Right? Now, what what is the difference you see in this list of things? Jack bought one. John bought many. Many means more than one do you remember what we had what do we call for one and many right singular for one and plural for many so singular means one singular means one and plural means more than one singular means one plural means more than one that is many now children 
in this pandemic we have to follow certain rules isn't it like washing your hands thoroughly wear a mask when you're going out maintain social distancing right in the same way some singular nouns when you want to change some singular nouns into plural we have to follow certain rules so let us see what this rules are rule number 1 words ending in s s s c h s h x and o change to plural by adding e s i repeat words ending in s s s c h s h x and o change to plural by adding e s for example bus b u s bus answer s so buses bus buses one bus many buses one class which ends in s n s so one class many classes watch one watch many watches one bush many bushes s h it ends in s h one box many boxes one mango many mangoes so s s s c h s h x and o take e s when changed to plural rule number 2 words ending in f or f e change to plural by adding v e s in place of f or f e so when a word ends in f or f e we add v e s to make it plural like for example leaf leaf ends in f we add v e s in place of f so we drop f and add v e s so leaf becomes leaves wolf we drop f and we add v e s so w o l f becomes w o l v e s wolves thief t h i e f thief becomes thieves shelf becomes shelves knife now knife and sin k f e k n i f e we drop f e and add v e s so k n i v e s knives and wife w i f e so so w i v e s so in place of f or f e we use v e s to change it into plural so leaf becomes leaves wolf wolves thief thieves shelf shelves knife knives and wife wives rule number 3 If a word ends in y, we drop y and add i e s. In the same way, how we drop f or f e and add v e s. In the same way, when a word ends in y, we drop y and add i e s. Now city, c i t y. So it ends in y. So we drop y to make it plural. One city, many cities. So we drop y and add i e s. So c i t y becomes c i t i e s. Baby, one baby, many babies. 
B A B Y. So to make it many, we drop Y and add I E S. So B A B I E S. One lady, many ladies. Again, we drop Y and add I E S. One cherry, many cherries. One puppy, many puppies. So we drop Y and add I E S to make it plural. So now let's go to rule number four. In rule number four, even if the words, some words ending in Y change to plural by adding S if there is a vowel before it. Just now I told you that words ending in Y take I, E, S to make it plural. But some words ending in Y take S if there is a vowel before it. What are vowels? Which are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. So when there is a vowel before Y, then it takes only S. So D A Y day. One day, many days. One key, many keys. Because there's a vowel before Y. One boy, many boys. One toy, many toys. So when there's a vowel before Y, it takes only S to change it into plural. Number five tells you that words, some words change their spellings completely when they in their plural form. Like man. When you change it to plural, you don't add S, I, S, V, S. The uh, spelling itself changes. So M, A, N becomes M, E, N. Men. Foot. One foot to fit. One tooth, many teeth. One mouse, it uh, plural changes to, in plural we make it mice. And one child, many children. The whole spelling changes, changes in the plural form. So now we know all the rules to make in singular and plural. So let's do a small exercise. So here we have to underline the singular noun and circle the plural noun. The boy has five kites. Where are the nouns? Which are the nouns? Boy and kites. So what does boy? One boy, many boys. So one boy. So boy is singular. So what we should do? Underline the singular nouns. So one boy. One boy. Kites. So many kites. One kite. Many kites. So kites are plural. So circle the plural noun. So we will circle. Mother baked two cakes. Yes. Mother and cakes are nouns here. So mother, one, mother. So uh, cakes, two, cakes. The books are on the table. Where are the nouns? Books and table. So one book, many books. So books is plural so we have to circle table one table so underline table there are toys in the shop so toys and shop are the nouns here so one toy many toys so toys are plural so we have to Circle toys. 
shop one shop so underline the singular noun the children are playing with the ball children one child many children remember the spelling changes so one the children is a and plural so we have to circle children are playing with a ball with one ball so ball is singular so children hope you understood singular and plural see you soon bye